Michael Colin Gillespie ran as an independent in the Glenties electoral area and uh, not quite past the post yet but I think I can confidently say Michael Colin you're, you're going to be representing this area in the Donegal County Council that must be a very very proud moment for you. Well it is more proud, very proud for those that have been out with me this last good couple of months but yes it is uh, I think as an independent in West Donegal I suppose geographically where I'm placed and I think yeah it's a good achievement because you have big parties, you know, you have Seamus Rogers, a cousin of my own, a man that I have great aspiration or ad my admiration for. Yes. Uh, you have Sinn Féin and then you have Fiona. Anyway, you know the party, so sure. yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So it is a good achievement. I hope uh, it's a vote for people who are looking some kind of change. I'm realistic enough to know that I won't be changing Nufford. Uh, yes. The objective here would have been very clear at the beginning was if we got elected was to go to Lifford to challenge those that are making decisions that affect the uh, people of West Donegal and also the whole county. So yes, it's, we're looking forward to it and by that seat if we're lucky enough to take it is to organise from it. It's an interesting perspective because I spoke to several guys like yourself, independents who ran and who've been successful in, in different areas and have been up to Lifford as well. And there's speculation there could be as many as 10 independents up there. And, you know, Frank McBurdy was sent to me and John O'Donnell was sent to me. It's important that those independents talk to one another as well to try and get some kind of united force and not just be nine or 10 single voices up there. Well, I suppose at the end of the day, I, I, I went forward here as an independent with a clear ideology. I'm a socialist republican. I know that there are independents out there who don't share that ideology. They're very much off the left or the right, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no interest in that uh, because I believe that that, own, that that ideology will be very similar to what Fiona Fell from the Gale uh, has been putting pressure or putting on our people for many years. So certainly I'll be looking at it if we're lucky enough to get elected, but certainly I have no interest whatsoever. Uh, and making deals uh, with people off the right. Yeah, that's interesting because obviously it's a very new setup, and even councillors who've been there before are going to find it different. You know, there's 37 councillors in there now compared to what was there before. So there's a real challenge for everybody to find their feet and see how they can or what they can do best and how they can do it for the people in Donegal. Look, I know as an independent that you're certainly a single voice, but uh, but for me, I don't believe in us. We don't believe the change will come from politicians. It's going to sound a bit hypocritical. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, if it was to come from politicians, it would have happened by now. Yeah. For us, like I says, we'll use that position to politicise and also to organise, but also to do the everyday bread and butter stuff, sure. which is very important every, uh, in houses, yeah. everyday living for people. Yes, we will do that, but the main thing here is to politically challenge and to organise. And like I says, you know, I'm not going to change Lifford. Yeah. Uh, change will only come from people. But first we need to work out what change we actually want. You hear people talk about change, we need to figure out what that change means and then to organise towards that change. It's interesting, it's a very interesting perspective you're putting on it, uh, Neil Colin, because a lot of people would say that we need change here in this county in terms of the approach to politics, that we need to get away from that party thing. We need to, it's all right saying before an election, you know, we want what's best for the, for the people. Really, that should be the ultimate goal, but sometimes once the election's over, that's sometimes forgotten. Well, when I went to the door, I didn't promise anything to the people at the door, like many have at the door. So for us, we, I've said to them, look, this will only come from us as the people. So people need to be a part of that there, change one individual, like I says, ain't going to change that there. So I look forward to going out there to organise and, and actually to, to fight. You know, not not fight in a physical manner yeah. or anything, but, uh, but to, box, yeah, yeah. to box clever for the people. My interest isn't the upper classes, my interest is solely the working classes. A lot of people will be watching with great interest your performance in Lifford because obviously you will be onto the spotlight when you get up there, particularly as a newcomer and more particularly perhaps as an independent as well. Well, I think most people should be under the spotlight and it's unfortunate that they're not. But yes, you know, I look forward to that challenge. There's a lot for me to learn. I suppose my biggest uh, challenge will be the fact that I'm dyslexic, that I can't read and write proper. So I know I was talking to Seamus Neary earlier on, the county manager, about that. Uh, that's going to be a massive challenge to me, but like everything else, I'll get over it, I'll get on with it. I'm 42 years of age nearly, and it hasn't stopped me going out there and doing what I feel is in the best interest of the people. We look forward and wish you well, Gormagot.